Hey there guys, so so many things, 2000 here again, this is the second part to Proverbs 11, um, if you haven't already watched the first part, I suggest that you watch the first part, very, um, riled up, not riled up, but like very, uh, I guess you could say inspiring, but, um, definitely watch it if you haven't, cause, uh, one isn't much good with the, the other, so um, you're not going to understand unless you watch that one. That's what I'm trying to say. But anyway, um, we talked about in the last video about wealth and all that, but um, first let's open in prayer. So, um, let's get started here. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day. I thank you for all the things that you've done for us, Lord. I just pray, Lord, that anything that is bothering these people that are watching this, whatever is bothering them or a burden that is on them right now, Heavenly Father, I do pray that you will take it away. Lord, and that um, they will just have a good, wholesome um, learning experience in these videos, that you will help me answer any of their questions, if they have questions, Heavenly Father, in this. Please, Lord. Please help us, help me to help them, Lord, if they are having questions about this, just help me help them. Help, you help me to help them. Lord, please, in the name of Jesus, I pray for your sake. Amen. Alright, let's get started here. We're on a little bit of time limit, uh, already at 2.05, now 2.06, 2 But, um, yeah. So, uh, we left off in verse 4. I read you verse 4. Wealth isn't worth anything when God judges you, but doing what is right saves you from death. We all, we went into the whole wealth doesn't matter to God thing in the last video. That was one of the main parts in it. But, um, verse 5 says, The ways of honest people are made straight because they do what is right. But those who do what is wrong are brought down by their own sins. Now, I was, writing, I was writing in my notebook when I was reading this last night and the day before, either, whenever or last I had read this. Um, I opened up my notebook, which was like a couple days ago, days ago, which was a couple days ago. Um, I opened up the book and it said... What I was feeling when I read that, I was feeling, if you, I will read it to you. Alright. Proverbs 11. If you are truthful, you will not lie in your sin. When I say lie in your sins, I mean you will not lay in them. You will not... Sins... We're all sinners. But you won't lie in your sins if you are truthful. And if you are with God. And God is with you. You will not lie in your sins because you can always ask for forgiveness. But you don't want to use... Something I was talking about with my pastor today. You don't want to use your, and my mom, she was there too, but you don't want to use forgiveness. You know what, you don't want to use a, you don't want to have a sin license. Meaning, you don't want to sin and say, okay, yeah, I, I, don't worry about it, I'll do this now and I'll, you know, I'll pray and God will forgive you later. No, it doesn't work like that. It never will work like that. Because if you are like that, God always, your 
God knows you, your heart inside out. Just like you know the back of your hand. He knows every single hair follicle. And you look at my hair. He knows every hair follicle. How many hair follicles are in your head? How many pieces of hair? He knows how many are in your head. That, <coughs> excuse me, I'm getting choked up. That is amazing. Because God is amazing. But you do not want to use sin as a sin. You don't want to have a sin license. Meaning, you don't want to say, all right, I'll do this now. Or I'll do this now. And then you turn around. And you say, God, I forgive me later. I mean, you, I, I will ask for forgiveness later. You can't do that. It's just... It's inevitable. It's not inevitable. Why did I say inevitable? Like, it's not... You can't do that. It's like I said, God knows your heart inside out. And if you're doing that, He knows. He knows. Okay? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> are saved, sorry, godly people are saved by doing what is right, but those who are not faithful are trapped by evil longings. Now, if they are trapped by evil longings, okay, they're trapped, that means that they're trapped in their sin. They're trapped in bad, evil things. And that brings me to the same thing. that to do things that are right that's what I felt when I was reading this to do things that are right because every little thing in here you get everything in here in Proverbs 11 is talking about good, truthful and Bad, lying, sinful. So, that's what brought me to say that. When an evil man dies, his hope dies with him. Everything he expected to gain from his power will be lost. When an evil man dies, when a person, a sinner, everybody's sinner, but when a person that was not with God dies, and they didn't, they were still not with God when they died, that is saying right there, everything he expected to gain from his power, power will be be lost. Simple. If you're not with God, you can take two, there's two choices. There's two paths. There is the path of light. There's the path of light, okay? My light's on my side. So, there's the path of light. And then, I'm the table is dark, so let's say, dark. Let's say that, that, that under the table is the dark path. So, there's the path of light, then there's the path of darkness. And if you walk the path of light, you walk with the Lord. You walk the path of truthfulness. If you walk the path 
of darkness, as in you're not with Jesus, if you walk that path, you're walking the path of sin and lies. So, you can walk the path of life with the Lord that is truthful, that is with Him. You can be a, ch the ch a child of the life. Or, you can walk the path of darkness with sin, lies, evil, with Satan. So, as we all know, Satan was Lucifer, who was a fallen angel. That's about, you know, that's a good closing point for the night. It, all this is going to run about 12 minutes in each video. So, we did get through from verse 5 all the way to verse 8. So that's, I guess that's pretty good, considering I broke a lot down. Um, but that's a good closing point, guys. So I will, uh, let's close in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, once again, I do pray for those out there who have prayer requests that I don't know, but they know, and you know. I pray for that, Heavenly Father, for all the people that are watching this. And I do also pray that they do get a lot out of these biblical videos. Um, I think it was a good idea. So, yeah. So, I do hope that they do enjoy these videos. And I thank you for this wonderful, wholesome day that you have given me, Heavenly Father. And I do pray for my knee. I did... Uh, you, I, for the people out there wondering, uh, I fell, I tripped running over to my neighbor's house yesterday and cracked my knee on a root. So, Lord, I do pray for that. Lord, only you know our prayer request unless people share. In the name of Jesus, I pray, and for your sake, amen. Alright guys, that's about all the time. We're about to run into 13 minutes, which is fine. But, um, uh, I don't want YouTube to say that it's the length of the video is too long. So, let me just say goodnight and have a good day and have a good evening. So, um, I will make another part tonight. And this is so, so many things 2000 saying good night have a good day or evening whenever you are watching this and uh watch part three for more thank you guys for watching